Hello and welcome to Thresher's Guide for How to Work Soft Plastics. The retrieves I use are mostly for trout, redfish, and flounder because we don't have too many snook and tarpon around here. The first thing you're going to need to know is that you're going to need different sized jig heads. If you're going to bounce the bottom in deeper water, you're going to need a heavier jig head. And if you're going to be fishing the flats, shallower, don't want to get in the weeds, you're going to need a lighter jig head. There are two basic kinds of soft plastic. First are the soft plastics that have their own action. Like these guys right here, you can see they have boot tails and also stuff like uh, curly tails such as your gulp swimming mullets. That is the first type of soft plastic. And then your second type of soft plastic are going to be lures that do not have their own action such as the fluke, uh, sand eels, and shrimp tails. Okay to start off we're going to start with the first type which is lures that have their own action and this is just a egret wedge tail and it has a little wedge on the back that will swim in the water. So let me show you the retrieves I use on the first type. All right, the first retrieve is the most simple and obvious. It's just a straight retrieve. And with these wedge tails, curly tails, what have you, they have their own action, so you can just straight retrieve them. Do a moderate, just a moderate retrieve. And as long as that, that tail's waggling, you can catch fish. I like to use this retrieve in shallower water where you can just continuously retrieve it uh, just on the top of grass. The next retrieve I'm gonna show you is probably the most popular retrieve that pretty much everyone does. And it's just two pops, and then two pops, and two pops, and two pops, and that's basically all it is. And this is just one of the most simple, but it also is really effective. So I just pop it, give it some slack, let it go back to the bottom, and then pop it right about when it hits the bottom again. That's when you want to give it those two pops again. Now you can use this retrieve if you want to bounce the bottom, which is very effective when you have uh, harder bottoms like sand or mud, anything but grass really. You can just bounce the bottom and trout and redfish love to hit this retrieve and flounder too. And you can also use this retrieve as a suspending retrieve uh, just over the tops of grass and stuff like that. You just want to make sure you work it a little bit faster so you stay on top of the grass. Alright now let's talk about catching flounder. So we all know flounder like to hang out on the bottom. So the retrieve I like to use for flounder is to cast it out, make sure it's on the bottom, and then just do a continuous popping motion with a very slow retrieve. And you would think that the flounder wouldn't hit it because it's moving so slow, but trust me, flounder are so aggressive, they, they will eat that thing up. And with this retrieve, you want to adjust your jig head so you make sure you're on the bottom. If, if you're not on the bottom, this retrieve is going to look pretty stupid. You'll be surprised how slow you can work this retrieve and still catch flounder on it. Alright, now let's talk about retrieves with the second type of lure, which is lures that don't have their own action. Here I'm throwing a Zoom Super Fluke. Now with these types of lures, you can do pretty much the same retrieve as you can with the other type that I showed. But the main difference is you can't just do a straight retrieve because it would look pretty dumb. Now one different retrieve that you can do with this type of lure is a retrieve where you walk it underwater and you just do this by pretty much doing the same retrieve you'll do on a topwater walking bait. This is a very good retrieve for trout in the flats and also for fish that are suspending. Now I did say there was two types of soft plastics but I forgot the most important one is just the third one. Uh, it is the fallopian tube rig. Just kidding this isn't don't use this. So when I first started saltwater fishing, I got pretty discouraged because I didn't think I knew how to work a soft plastic. You know, you see people doing their beautiful little retrieves, and I felt like I didn't know what I was doing with it. But something I want to get through to you guys, especially if you're new to fishing, is that if there are fish there and they're in a feeding mood, uh, it's not going to be very hard to catch them, no matter how good your retrieve is or not. Doing basic retrieves is really all you need to catch some fish. The main thing you do need is for there to actually be fish where you're fishing. You may get discouraged and think you're not working the lure right, but in reality there just might not be fish. And that's why I kept this guide so basic. So this is just a starting point. So go out there and figure out what works for you. Something I did just for fun is I texted my dad, who is a longtime trout fisherman. Uh, you know, he's okay at fishing. And uh, I asked him for his top three tips for working and fishing a soft plastic. So let's take a look. Well to start off, I asked him for his top three tips and of course he gave me four. So number one, he says, work slow and methodical. 
And that's actually a good tip because trout, redfish, and flounder, they're not pelagic species, they're not super fast fish, so they will definitely eat a slower lure, and they're not really gonna go chasing down the lure if you're burning it super fast, unless they are very aggressive at that time. Number two. Number two, he says, set the hook on a slight hit. So that means when you feel that little tick, that's when you set the hook. Number three, he has a little flats fishing tip here. He says, when you're fishing grass, throw into every pothole. And if you didn't know already, potholes are so good for catching fish. Trout love to lay down in those little things and ambush pinfish swim around. So potholes are great if you can find them. If you found this video helpful, give the video a like and also, if you have your own tips or questions, go ahead and put those in the comments.